At 22 feet, 6 inches long, roughly 3,700 pounds dry, but can sleep seven people comfortably. If you've been looking for that family bunkhouse entry-level RV, I got you right here with the Heartland Pioneer Trailblazer BH170. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside a great entry level single axle slideless bunkhouse RV. I'm talking about the Trailblazer, the Heartland Pioneer BH170. What's great about the Trailblazers? You get some features inside entry level that you're not going to get in a lot of RVs like stainless steel, 50 50 undermounted sinks, oversized fridges. Uh, you're going to get double over double bunks, an actual bowl inside the bathroom as far as the uh, you know sink goes. Just lots of great little things that makes this a good investment for entry level. Plus, since it's Heartland Pioneer, you know you're going to get things like the full sealed floor. So, you know, you don't have a moisture barrier in there as well. Oversized windows, plush, comfortable seating and larger storage. But with this BH170, let's start right here in the back with the double over double bunks with that Teddy Bear series style bunk mattress over two inches thick right there you do have some good space and good capacity a lot of times in slideless rvs the bunks are twin over twin single over single so having these is actually really nice large window there led light right here plus underneath i got the same thing i got myself a led light i got me some storage underneath if i need it or storage i'm channeling my grandmother today um and what do you say we go to the bathroom? I was going to do the storage, but let's go to the bathroom. You got the solid door, and I like the decor that they have in here, too. They've brightened up the wood. It's no more of that dark brown. It's more of a kind of a grayish brown now. Lighter, better, more aesthetically pleasing. Step into the bathroom. You got the Dometic high-rise plastic bowl with the foot flush. You got the single tub surround and shower curtain right here. Now, this is where it's going to get a little tight, you know, so I'm, I'm 6'2". I got to cramp a little bit, but still, for an entry-level RV or maybe a fishing cabin or a hunting cabin, something you just need to lay your head down at night, get cleaned up, this is great. Hot and cold on my shower, plus I got the nozzle with the spray controls right there. I got the large single basin sink. I got me a GFCI outlet, plus here is where I can check my controls. This is my convenience center. I can cut on my water pump, and you do have a gas electric water heater on this unit too, which is another feature you don't find a lot of entry levels. Usually it's just gas. But if you need quick bypass on this one, bam, cut that on, you got yourself quick recovery. Check your battery, check your tanks, the whole nine. Plus you got some storage under there. No medicine cabinet, but I got a mirror to see that I have a giant ugly head. Now, if you're shaped like me, aka Gleep from the Herculoids, this is a good RV because of the space, especially those double bunks up there. I'm just saying. Now, step out into the kitchen and you'll see we got the Dometic fridge-freezer combo right here that runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. A little bit oversized, um, usually eight cubic foot is what these are, six to eight cubic feet, so having that is a very nice feature. Circuit breaker or fuse box as well as LPO2 detector. Over here on the campsite, I got my booth dinette, which can easily sleep for people. We've had a lot of people ask, what is it like when you do put the bed down? Because as you can see, we got the table resting on the feet of the bench seats right here. And this is what it looks like when you lay it out. You just push the, cush the cushions out, push them down. And right there, you got yourself a nice snug fit with a bed that could easily fit one person if you like to sleep like this. So if you ever wondered, all right, how big is that booth dinette when it comes to sleeping? Here you go. Now me, this is how I sleep. So I'd be fine right here. I might hit my head right there. That'd be the only thing I would worry about. But aside from that, pretty good space, plush and comfortable cushions on this as well. And you notice it's not that leatherette. It's a fabric that's not sweat stick, as I like to call it, uh, where at night you get sweaty and you start sticking to the cushions. You won't really have that issue here. Plus you got some storage underneath. Just remove the particle board right there. You got some good storage under both sides. Got the wood valance decorative over your large panoramic window, light, and this is what I was talking about, how they brightened up the interior. Gone is the brownish, dark brown wood. Now we have the graphite inlay here on the lighter wood with 
the matte black pulls. You'll see you got some good space in there for storage. I got myself a 13.5 BTU Advent AC with multi quick cool dumps right here, as you can see, and you got your controls. You got a 13.5 BTU AC, 20,000 BTU furnace on this one. Here are your Advent controls to control your HVAC right there. Moving to the kitchen, press surface countertop. I got my Capital two burner cooktop. Take my match to light that. I got the stainless steel 5050 sink here with the high rise faucet. Large, which is oversized. A lot of times with entry level, you get that little small window over the sink. This one, you get the full profile. Plus I got my Greystone microwave right here. Frosted glass inlay inside my storage door too. I like the look of that. Got me some more storage underneath. Good spot for my trash can, good spot for some pantry items, some cleaning items. Got the pull out drawer, which is finished off on the full extension ball bearing drive right there. My suburban furnace right there, 20,000 BTU. And up front, I got a window over here, dual USB charging and 110 power over there on the campsite. I got mirrored ward storage right here. And I got my awning controls, my TV controls, or excuse me, my TV power and my, save, my cable and satellite connections right there. And up front, right here in the master, this is where I think uh, this kind of separates itself. So like I'd mentioned, if you are a fan of hunting or fishing, you need a fishing cabin or hunting cabin, or the ladies weekend getaway, the wine tours, the beer tour, the brewery tours, so many great breweries and wineries opening up all over the country. You, you got to go experience them. And you say, we just need a, something to set up, travel in the safety and comfort of our own home, which is what's great about your RV and sit back and relax and enjoy some of that wine, some of that beer, some of that water, some of that soda, some of that Fanta, fa -fa 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 Fanta and just enjoy each other's company. These are great because it gives you cover, you got good insulation, you got good height, you got strong AC, strong furnace. You can sit and enjoy, and then when it's time for bed, you can either kick out the Murphy bed, the jackknife sofa, excuse me, bam, sleep right there, or you say, Chris, that looks like a big old Murphy bed. Congratulations, it is a big old Murphy bed. You got yourself a queen size bed right there, plus a little LED reading light right there. Versatility, form, function, options, space for entry level. The Trailblazer is doing exactly that. It's blazing the trail. So what do you say we go blaze outside and check out what's going on out there? So here we are on the outside of the all new Harlan Pioneer Trailblazer BH170. We're gonna start right up front. You got that super flex roof going over the top. You got the diamond plated rock guard for when you're going down the road to bounce that stuff, not onto your camper, but off of it, all sitting on top of a single welded frame. 20 pound LP tank and hand crank for the, power, for, for the uh, tongue jack. Um, I would advise, talk to your service folks, get two 20 pound LP tanks put on there if you can. Step around to the campsite. We do have some storage. You'll see we got the plastic clip right here to hold our storage door. Now, this is a Murphy bed system, so it's passed through, but you don't have the full storage capacity here. Uh, it is finished off, but if you need to put the, the, the rifle cases, the rods, the, you know, if you got narrow bags, beach towels, chairs, stuff like that, you should be able to, well, not beach chairs, but should be able to put them in there. You got the Solera uh, awning right here with the LED light strip going almost the entire length of this 22 feet, six inch RV. You do got the little rubber stopper up there if you do need to manual override it. Still steps leading you into the main entry point right here. Sealed tinted safety windows all the way around. Got your GFCI outlet out here if you want to plug in, charge up your cell phone, plug in the boom box. You do have an aluminum rim on this single axle RV with the nitro filled tires. For entry level, that's nice because aluminum won't rust. Come over here and you got yourself like a little mini kitchen area. Got prep space right here, storage space as well as a storage shelf and your little mini dorm style fridge right there. I like having this because it just gives you more options. Once again, you got the anti-slam doors on these with the plastic uh, latches and the covered hinges. Four by four sewer hose storage on the back with spare tire and aluminum rim mounted. Plus we got those arch ceilings with the three inch rubber nozzles, giving you some, uh, some security in the way of making sure that the rain, the snow doesn't stay on top of this RV. Cable connection right there. 
Main terminations right here. Sewer outlet connections, you'll see you get your gray tank, uh, your, or excuse me, your main termination uh, right there. And on this one, with your fresh gray and black tanks, uh, you have a 41 gallon uh, fresh tank, 40 gallon gray and black, so dual 40s. Catch your 30 amp plug right here. Back of that fridge right there, back of the water heater, back of your furnace. City water connection, fresh water connection with vent, and your low point drains underneath. Other side of our pass through storage right here, but more importantly, so this one is roughly 3,700 pounds dry. You're looking at 22 feet, six inches long. Gross vehicle weight on this one, 4,500 pounds. This is where you come to see all that information you need. How much does this vehicle weigh? So I gotta tell you, even at 4,500 pounds, should fall in that range of light duty trucks, most SUVs, uh, gross vehicle weight that's fully loaded. But if you're looking for something 22 feet, six inches long, can sleep seven people, single axle, slideless, with some of those upgraded features you're definitely not going to find in entry level RVs. This Heartland Pioneer Trailblazer is one I would put at the top of my list if I was looking for my first RV, first fish house, first just need to set something up as a hunting cabin, whatever. This would be a good one to take a look at. And fish cabin, excuse me, not fish house. Uh, but leave me some comments down below, uh, down below and let me know why can't I speak today. Let me know what do you think about this Heartland Pioneer Trailblazer BH170. What'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. You never know. Might be the RV that you fall in love with. Thank you once again for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Please. If you get a chance, come check out an RV because they are fun. Safest way to see America too. I'll see you later.